G'day guys, my name's Tech, this is my channel Bootlosophy and I'm really excited today because I'm going to bring to you the unboxing of my very first pair of Truman boots. So this is my first pair of Truman boots that I've over ordered so I'm really quite exciting. I got this during the um, uh, spring, US spring uh, seconds and sample sale. And this was actually a sample, so it's a brand new boot with no defects. It's not a factory second. It's the natural lim limerick. It's from Seidel, that's all I know about it. Uh, I emailed Truman to ask what the uh, leather what characteristics were, and they said, well, it's from Seidel, so maybe you want to contact them. Uh, I wrote to uh, Seidel. Uh, they sent me an automated message saying the sales manager will be in touch with you soon and nobody ever replied. So, um, bad mark there, Seidel. Uh, you never know what these queries will go to. Anyway, uh, I'm really quite excited, so uh, let's get down to it, particularly as it took some nearly four weeks to get to me. Let's open this up. Ooh, okay, not the most secure of packaging. And inside the shipping box is the Truman Boot Company box with the dog Truman, the famous dog. Um, it shows you the model number and the uh, uh, size. Let's open this up. In it is a thank you card with care instructions on the back. Two sets of laces, a round cotton uh, uh, wax lace and the rawhide or leather lace. I think this one will go on. They are wrapped in this nice paper with Truman logos all over it, not in a boot bag. And there's the first one. Well, my first impression is this is a beautiful leather. It doesn't feel dissimilar to Seidel's double shot, which is interesting. Let's get the other boot out. There's the other boot. Um, being a sample as opposed to a factory second, there shouldn't be any defects and I don't see any anyway. It's a nice waxy feeling leather. The initial shape uh, I think will suit my foot because I like a, a, a boot with a big uh, wide width along the uh, ball of the foot. Two piece uh, backstay. The quarters are triple stitched in a two plus one pattern. Let's give you a close up. Very nice uh, pattern boot. Quite distinct. Mini lug sole from Vibram. Alrighty. And of course there's the famous Truman box of matches to burn off any loose threads. Uh, it's a semi-gusseted tongue. In fact, it's pretty much gusseted all the way up the eyelets. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five eyelets and two speed hooks in brass. The leather's a nice waxy pull-up leather, as you can see. Full of oils and waxes. It's a... 270 degree Goodyear welt goes from here to here. The sole just feels nice and solid. Reinforced in the toe cap, good solid heel cup. Truman label with a size 8. I think we might uh, get these on foot and let's see how they fit. So let's put these babies on and see how they fit and where. 
uh, it's unlined, and sometimes I don't like that because it sort of grabs at my socks, but that one slipped in quite easily. I've put the rawhide laces on because I think uh, with this sort of tan leather they work better. Just uh, tying them in a bit of a hurry here. I'm not really caring about the pattern. The laces are long, probably long enough to go around. Yes, they are. Not my favorite way of tying, but you know, you do what you have to when the laces are of a certain size. Try the other boot on. Well, they fit pretty good. Uh, and just to, to tell you that uh, in order to choose the sizes, I contacted uh, Truman, who were very helpful, but I also used the grail.co um, app. If you go to g-r-a-y-l-e dot co, it's a, an app with a database full of users' information about what sizes they use. Well, that fits pretty good. That's a stiff leather, which I'm sure will uh, break in, and quite a stiff sole, because you've got this pretty thick leather sole, uh, midsole here, along with the welt, and the Vibram mini lug sole is quite thick anyway. They fit good. Uh, in two minutes of wear, I can't feel any 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 wear spots or hot spots, but I do feel like the sole is going to need breaking in, definitely. Otherwise, I look, to breaking, look forward to breaking these in. They really feel good. Excellent. Well, there you have it guys, uh, the unboxing of my very first pair of Truman boots. It, this one is uh, in uh, natural limerick from Seidel Tanning. I don't know too much about the, the leather at all. Uh, it feels quite waxy, it looks very similar to their double shot leather that I've got uh, in a Parkhurst model. It's, it's quite a thick leather as used by Truman, it feels very firm to the touch. It has a um, waxy feel to it on the surface, but um, clearly is quite a tough leather. The boot itself, um, brass hardware, one, two, three, four, five eyelets and two hooks, uh, cap toe with a two plus one pattern. Uh, the, the quarters are sewn with a two plus one pattern, 270 degree Goodyear welt with um, I guess a, this is a, a storm welt in that it's finished at the edge of the uh, flange up the boot. The uh, heel is a really solid heel with uh, the leather midsole, rubber, heel, leather heel stack, rubber. The sole is Vibram's mini lug sole, which I've had on many other boots and really is, is really quite good for grip and being outdoors. Uh, it's a very sturdy boot to start with, unfinished edges, quite raw, two-piece backstay to give it that really work booty, outdoorsy style. I think this would be nice to break in. It will need some breaking in, that's a very tough uh, sole construction, like I can hardly bend it at the moment, so we'll have to wear that in. Inside is a um, semi-gusseted tongue which goes right up to all the eyelets really and then it's not gusseted at the uh, speed hooks. Uh, you can see from the tongue it's actually quite a thick leather anyway. I'll, I'll measure it up when I do a, a, a review later. Yes, so I'll wear this in and as usual 
Um, after a few months, maybe five or six months, I'll do a review on it. And then I'll do a further review after a year, a bit longer than a year. So if you like this video, click on the like button. And to look at all my other uh, boot reviews and unboxing, click on subscribe so you don't miss any. Take care and I'll see you soon.